Action News Now reporter Laura Ng is live for us in Igo, where they are evacuating. Laura. Now, where it has been evacuated for quite some time, it's an area of about 600 people at least, according to the PIO. And what we know so far here is I was supposed to actually do a live shot just a couple of miles down the road that way, going across the bridge by Andrews Creek. However, we were told we all had to move away from that because the flames were flaring up again, really painting a picture as to how unpredictable this fire can be. The wind conditions, I asked the PIO, what are they like today? How are they playing a role in today's firefighting conditions? He said the wind conditions, he said, bottom line, they're crazy. The winds are blowing the fire all over the place. That's why we were standing all there safely just a few minutes ago, ready to do a live shot. And then the winds moved the fire, so we all had to pick up our equipment and leave. So I'm right here in a safe location, just entering Igo, which, like I said, was evacuated. And I asked the PIO about the status of Ono. He said he hasn't heard anything yet about evacuation orders over there. But I am preparing right now to continue to go into Igo and get some more visuals for you coming up in the next few minutes. But for now, reporting live in Igo, Laura Ang, Action News Now. Laura, thank you, Laura. Thank you.